Welcome back. This is Marisol. And there's been a lot of chatter about travel albums in the Ali Edwards Craft Your Story Facebook group. And it got me to uh, look through my 2012 travel album because I am taking a trip with my family later this uh, later in July and I wanted to get ideas about ideas for what to document while I'm on vacation I am really proud of this album it's a 12 by 12 uh, album and it took me a lot of work but I loved every moment of it and I thought why not go through the album along with you guys so that um, perhaps maybe you could get some ideas on um, how to document your next travels. Okay, so this is my intro page and what I did was I used a map that came in our travel plan from our insurance company and I loved it because it showed a map of the United States and then the route of our um, hometown down to our destination and what I did was I added our departure time and our arrival time I cut out the names of every state that we drove through this was I want to say it's from Studio Calico. I think the whole album I used, throughout the whole album, I used Studio Calico uh, scrapbooking kits. What I did with this page was I used a hole punch to punch out these holes, and then I, not a hole punch, a circle punch. And then I added elements on a separate sheet of paper behind the uh, circles and used pop dots to raise it up. This was a very detailed page. It took a lot of time, but I like the end result. For my second page, I just used a couple of pictures of what our stuff looked like before it was inside of the suitcase and then us all packed and ready to go. And then some hand journaling, lots of layers, lots of layers. Move this over a little bit. There we go. For this page, I, again, this was documenting the actual road trip. And what I did was, throughout the drive, I had a notebook. And I documented uh, the arrival times, the times that we arrived in every state. So here's Pennsylvania, West Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Virginia. And in the same notebook, I documented my thoughts and my feelings, as well as quotes that the um, you know funny things that the kids said or that I said or my husband said, so that when I came back home, I had all of these items inside of that little notebook ready to use as I created the album. Lots of stamping throughout this album as well. Again, here I used alphabet stamps. And um, this paper has, I don't think you can tell, but it has uh, the names of the United States in the background. For this journaling piece here, I used handwriting, but then I added stamps to complete the handwriting. That was time consuming, but again, well worth it. Okay. This is a double page spread and it includes six four by six landscape pictures. And I know that when I was making this album, I was heavily influenced by Chamel. I think at that time she had her four by six photo love class uh, at Two Piece in a Bucket. And I was um, influenced by her style of layering and um, embellishment clusters in a in a visual triangle so you'll see that throughout the album as well this is a washi tape that I completely forgot I had and it's pretty awesome these little cameras you're gonna see throughout the whole album and I cut those out of a piece of paper I want to say it was from Echo Park but I'm not 100% sure this is one of my favorite pages. Again, another 
layout influenced by sketches from Chanel. This is a stamp, which is really cool. And you're going to see that throughout the album as well. Again, you know, that visual triangle, visual triangle, and lots of layers. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if I saw Chamel's class before I went on my trip because I'm looking and I'm seeing that all of these pictures are portrait 4x6 and I'm wondering if I did that purposely, you know, if I took those pictures intentionally thinking about, okay, this is probably something that I'd want to make into a two by into a two-page layout. But I'm not 100% sure. Again, that visual triangle with the clusters of the of embellishments. A lot of handwriting. Again, oh look at these. These were um, thickers, and I bought a bunch of them when I made this album because I was so afraid of running out. And I believe that I do have leftovers that I'll use for this year's vacation. Lots of map papers. This is a stamp that I have and I cut it out and then added some journaling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when I said I spent a lot of time this album, I really spent a lot of time this album. Here, these are letter stickers. Not letter stickers alphabet stamps and they're super tiny but I took the time to spell things out with it these are from Studio Calico and they were the ones that you could paint so I stamped on this one which reminds me I have a hexagon stamp I have to look that up and here I used ink Again, lots of stamping. This was his, the historic district in, um, on Jekyll Island, I think we were at. I'm assuming it was because the whole album is about Jekyll Island, Georgia. If you've never been there, I highly recommend it. It is a beautiful place and it's not overly tourist. So it's quiet. I loved it. We loved it there so much. We went along with my brother, my sister-in-law, and my nephew. <laughs> More of these uh, stamps from Studio Calico. This is one of my favorite pages. I think it's because I love the picture. I actually took that picture and to me it looks like a postcard, but I took it. It made me really proud of my photography skills. <laughs> Anyhow, this page took a long time. I cut strips of paper and put it over a paper that was of clouds, it looks like, and used punches for these clouds here and um, those thickers again and just a little snippet of the story of me climbing that lighthouse, which was very scary for me. I'm afraid of heights. Okay, now here again, this is where we were. We were at, let's see, we were at St. Simon Island. And what I did here was I cut a page protector in half. This was a page protector that had 12 pockets. And I cut it in half to add in these extra pictures. This is from the top of the lighthouse. I managed to take some pictures even though I was freaking out. This is a We Are Memory Keepers page protector. So that's why you see it has that big packet there. Becky Higgins, I don't think, has a lot of these um, page protectors that have these bigger pockets or different configurations. I think they do exist in the app though. Okay. So this is just the back side of that page protector. I think by this time I was starting to get tired and I kept the page a little bit more simple. 
This is one of my favorite pages as well. Again, here's that cluster. Let me see if I can get both pages in the frame. There we go. Letter stickers, pop dots. Oh, for this page, what I did was I added in the bits and pieces that I collected throughout the trip. I made it a point to ask for the business card of all of the different places that we went to and then added them in this um, on this page. I have a feeling that the places we will be going to uh, in Myrtle Beach probably won't have many uh, I probably won't be able to find many business cards. I don't think that people have them anymore considering that now they have websites instead. So, and then just some random pictures from our trip. This page here documents one of the fav one of our favorite restaurants that we went to, which was called Barbara Jeans, and it was amazing. It was so good we went twice. Oh look, I added ink splatters. Wow, that's very uh different for me. <laughs> Again, I, it was heavily influenced by Chamel and um, her 4x6 photo love class as well as her the sketches on her on her blog. Most of the pages have multiple pictures, but if there were there was a really special picture then I just uh, made one or I used one that photo for the one page. Oh this that these are sequins. This is another one of those configure uh, page protectors with a different configuration from We Are Memory Keepers. And I think I have to um, use glue dots or something to close this up because when you turn it, this falls right out. Again, I let it, not again, why, why do I keep saying again? Sorry guys. <laughs> for this page protector, I for this page rather, I didn't add anything to the photos. I wanted the photos to speak for themselves especially because this page had a lot going on and so I left the pictures to speak their own story I guess <laughs> same thing here I didn't add a lot of embellishments or anything I didn't add anything really must have been tired <laughs> this album took forever you guys but I'm so happy with it and it's completely done. Like I don't know that I've done that except with December Daily. So my son turned one while we were in Georgia that year. And it was great. He spent it on the beach. And that's him on his birthday just having a grand old time in the water. He's so big now. He's seven, you guys. Ooh, my baby. For this page, I used 6 by 6 papers, and I did trim them down a little bit, but this was a great way to use those 6 by 6 paper pads that I have, because I think this page right here is a full 6 by 6 I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, and so what I did was, a lot of the same papers that I used on this page, I used on this page. Again, a lot of stamping in there. Now see, I must have taken, watched her class, because I don't know that I would have thought of this on my own, that for the same series of pictures, I took a portrait, landscape, portrait, landscape to create this layout. I have to remember that. Although I'm not sure, to be honest, if I'm going to create a 12 by 12 album for our trip in July, I this is a big, a big project, and I'm not sure. And the only reason why I'm questioning it is because I started making 12 by 12 layouts again because I'm taking the Studio Calico Summer of Sketches class and I made a few 12 by 12 pages and I'm loving it. <laughs> so I'm kind of in the 12 by 12 mood, but I'm not sure. We'll see. 
because I'm also in the traveler's notebook kind of mood. For this here, what I did was I have these plastic letters, and I have tons of them, and I use staples, right, to adhere them onto that card, and I don't use my stapler very much anymore, my tiny attacher, because I feel like it messes up the picture that is behind but I don't see any damage here. But I do keep this album upright all the time, so that might make a difference. But anyway, what I did, and I really like it, I think I'm going to do again, is that I trimmed patterned paper out. I traced the letter and then trimmed it out of patterned paper and then either replaced the entire letter or backed up the letter with patterned paper. And I really like the way that looks. And I... I'm something to note because I think I want to do that again. Oh, and this is another example of something that I did. I uh, wrote down the item, the food. I wrote down the food that we ordered from that restaurant on that day. This is the name of the restaurant and then here I have all of the different um, menu items that we ordered. So I probably want to do that next time too. These are Instax pictures, Polaroid pictures. I have a little Polaroid camera that runs on battery, and I haven't used it much only because I'm having trouble finding the the film, and it's kind of expensive. I think it's a dollar per picture, so very expensive. This was, uh, did I trim this down? I don't know. I don't know if I trimmed this down or if it came like it, like this. I think it came like that. Very bulky uh, album. I This is a button layered with a brad. Very, very bulky. Lately, for the past few years, I've been keeping things pretty flat because the albums just, I don't know, they just get so bulky. So this here, I want to show you, is a two is a two-page layout but I have an insert in the middle and what I did for this insert is I trimmed down a 12 by 12 page protector and let's see what does this measure it measures eight and a half it looks like yeah eight and a half by 12 and that way I was able to add in more pictures of this little day trip that we took to Driftwood Beach. So that's another way to get more pictures in a two by two or in a two page layout. This map right here, can you guys see that? This is a stamp from Studio Calico that I still have. And um, I just high colored in the um, the state, Georgia State there. This is a Hero Arts stamp that I absolutely love. What I plan on doing before I leave to my trip is I plan on creating a traveler's kit of all different papers and stamps, embellishments, letter stickers, things that I think I might want to use during, or things that I want to use to document the trip. So I'll be doing that. I might, I don't know if I have the time or not to do a video. This was one of my favorite cards from Studio Calico's Documenter Kit. Back then it was called the Project Life Kit. This was when we went to Medieval Times. And this is a great idea. So you know how we go to Disney or you go, well here we went to Medieval Times. And they, you get those pictures, those professional pictures done at the place, and then they give you that big cardboard frame, and you don't know what to do with it. Well, I tossed the, the frame, because quite honestly, I'm not going to put that anywhere in my house. But I kept the picture, and I trimmed down a uh, 12 by 12 page protector, used my fuse tool to seal it, and there you go. And then what I did on this page, which I thought was pretty cool, um, is that I used... I don't know if this is a die or 
if I did this with the Cricut, I do not remember. But anyhow, I went ahead and I added quotes that the kids said, things that the kids said about medieval times. And my one son said it was like Skyrim, but in real life. My nephew said it was epic. Ricardo said, I enjoyed it so much, I can't even explain. My daughter says, that is a cool castle. And so what I did was I used letter stickers and stamps to highlight some of the words in the quotes. And this right here is from those crowns. You see how everyone's wearing one of those paper crowns? I saved them and I used it as a border on this page and then part of the crown that label is here as well. These little cameras are from Studio Calico and they were white and I was able to just color them in. These are really dark pictures because they were indoors. This is the ticket. So save your tickets, save your um, business cards, Take a notebook with you to write down arrival time, departure time, and memorable quotes to use when you document your album, when you create your album. Here, this was a, a two-page layout documenting my son's birthday, and I used this paper from I don't know what. It's one of those paper stacks, probably from Die Cuts with a View, I want to say. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, our trip to the aquarium. I, oh, these pictures are so amazing. And I didn't add a lot of embellishments because some of them are really busy, but also because I really wanted to enjoy the picture for what it was, right? Blue, <laughs> my favorite color. I absolutely love it. So here I have the ticket stub from the aquarium created the embellishment clusters, documented the date, and created a title. And then this is an insert. Now I think I'm looking and I'm seeing some items that are more recent than 2012. So I'm pretty sure I did not finish this album in 2012. I think it took me a little bit longer to document, to finish the album rather. Because this is a Kelly Perky stamp that I didn't have way back when I think. Here I added these plastic overlays to the pictures and this is a page protector from We Are Memory Keepers and they had this big strip up here so I added a Polaroid picture and then oh sorry I'm out of frame you guys here we go. I added a Polaroid picture another stub and an embellishment cluster and a photo this, is, this one's funny. It says, seriously, are you kidding me? <laughs> and then the back side of that page. Here I have a flip up that folds over like that. I use pretty much the same papers throughout the whole kit. This is one of my favorite pages. I absolutely love these two pictures. And this paper here, oh my gosh, I got this at a CK convention years and years and years ago. Never used it and finally used it for this page. It's very textured and it re reminded me of the water. And this here is uh, wood grain paper. This was a restaurant that we visited and I never added any journaling but that's okay because I'm not going to go back and do it. <laughs> And then this documents West Virginia, the uh, New River Gorge, and just added a flare on the outside of the page protector. Oh, yeah. I have no idea where this is from. I want to say it's from Studio Calico, but I don't know. It's nice and flat. I like it. And then the last page just includes some random photos. This says goodbye, Georgia. And again, some random items and that's it so thank you so much for going down memory lane with me I hope that this walkthrough was able to give you some ideas as to how to document your next adventure 
If you have any questions, please let me know and I will get back to you. Thank you so much again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.